Hello, it's Emil Bia here, and today I have something really cool to show you guys. Pretty much, I've been working at school, and I got a graphing calculator, so I figured out you can make programs with a graphing calculator. And then I've been working on it, actually, for a couple years now, and pretty recent I decided, you know, I'm going to make Minecraft. So, I built Minecraft for the graphing calculator in my spare time at school. Now, before you go saying, oh my goodness, it's 3D Minecraft on a graphing calculator, and you can go kill creepers during math class, it's like, no, it's not. Pretty much, it generates terrain using black pixels, and you can build stuff. But that's still pretty cool, and I'm working on an addition where you can go down into the caves and maybe even gather resources, and I don't know, but yeah, I've been programming it, and here's what I have so far. I wrote down the graphing calculator at school, and I ported it over to the computer where I have a graphing calculator simulator that I'm running it on now. Pretty much, it has some parameters. Stiffness is how many pixels up it can rise or fall within each step, right? And volatility is what percent chance it will have to move, which 20 is pretty good. Height is where it starts generating, so height 45 is a good number. You can play around with these. True rarity is like if you put five for true rarity, that means there's a one in five chance that the tree will spawn in that area. So about seven's a good number for that. A cave is if you want a cave or not. A cave can be glitchy, so it's why I had to turn this off. Sometimes it cuts through your top of your environment. Sometimes it just totally messes it up. But yeah, we'll try it for now. Now keep in mind that when it does generate, a lot of the time it glitches up and you get a really bad one. So it might take a couple tries with the same settings before you get a generated world that you like. So here is what it does. It's, it makes a little terrain like this and puts little trees on top, you can see. It goes from left to right and it'll fill in the whole world at the desired settings. Now, I can do something I can't do on the calculator right here. I can go... Sometimes it does this too. If it goes, I've, I've had this issue so much. If it goes off the top of the map, then it'll cause that. Here, I'll just put these back in real quick. 20, 21 is fine. Let's go 40. And we'll go 7... One tries again. There we go. And I can speed it up, which I cannot do in the calculator, but it's so amazing. I have no idea how long I've spent watching these things generate well. Oh, you see the cave? It's the cave. Evil cave. Probably have to cut that out or something. Two. Twenty. Forty-five. The cave sort of cut through at the top of the world, you can see. So most of the time, it doesn't have that issue, but sometimes it just sort of screws you over and... That's just a bad situation. Tree rarity, five, zero, no cave. So yeah, here we go. This is how it's gonna look. And if you get it set right and you get lucky, you'll get a cave underneath. Now the best part's still to come. You can use these controls here, and you can dig around, you can build little underground bases, you can go ahead and head up to the surface, and you can chop down some trees, you can go ahead and clear some land here. And this all works on the graphing calculator with the link for downloads in the description. If you do not know how to get them on your calculator, or you don't have, a, if, you, if you have one of those cords, a USB cord for your graphing calculator, you can plug it into the computer, and you can use some TI software that you can download for free off the internet to get it on your calculator, and distribute it to your friends and stuff if you so desire. But yeah, so this is pretty much it. You can hit the controls are the arrow, once it generates, the controls are the arrows to move your guy around. Enter changes from erase mode to build mode. And you can build little stuff. As you see, you got a little house. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, yes. I've s done some funny stuff on here. Oh, the stuff I've seen. People draw on this game. I did write it myself. And contributed some kids at my school they got a pretty good kick out of it and hope you will too anyway that's been the video I hope it works I mean it's the first video in a long time and I'm hoping to get back into YouTube a little bit so if you liked it please leave a like I'd really appreciate it and till later see you guys later